one, my little goats. I love you guys, okay? You guys are like, dude, you're talking to yourself too. I know. <laughs> Barely though. I, I have Capricorn in my North Node, and so I heavily identify with it, but I am also a double Aquarius Sun and Moon, right? But I just feel like I resonate so fucking much with Capricorn. Um, especially in the last year, I feel like I'm really tapping into my North Node. Um, but anyway, back to your reading. Let's pick up on your energy. What's going on, Capricorn? My little Capri Suns. My little Captain Crunch. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm going a little overboard with that shit. Okay, not that one. This one. You know what though? Capri Suns and Captain Crunch do sound fucking amazing right now. I ain't gonna lie, okay? I made myself a little hungry. <laughs> Maybe I need some food. I don't know. <laughs> um. Alright, so let's see. <laughs> Dude, don't judge me if I have Captain Crunch and Capri Suns for breakfast, okay? called self-care. <laughs> Dude, this one ain't- okay, no oracles in the beginning. That's what I'm saying. No fucking oracles. Um, you're in that complicated energy, so I'm gonna pull my soft deck. <laughs> you're in that- backwards energy mm -hmm. something throwing you for a loop because you're throwing me for a loop that's how we connect energetically that's how I see you oh my god yes <laughs> okay yes um we have the empress right we have um, divine feminine could be male or female. This is a, an artist or a creator of sorts. This is somebody because like we see her as, uh, somebody who brings life into the world. And a lot of the times, if it is a man sitting in this energy, it would be a creator of sorts. Somebody who's really making stuff, right? Um, very nurturing, very caring, very deep. Um, then we have the queen of wands. Right? You're trying to manifest something here. You're standing in the upright here, and it's like you want change. I just see so much fast-moving energy, so much passion in this. Like, it just feels loud. Like, it feels loud. Like, you, you're, you like, itching for change, right? Fortune. The wheel of fortune, right? Fortune is in your favor. Things are going to be changing. Things, um, you're manifesting it. You're manifesting change right now. Oh my god. Yes. Well, I knew you were the goat. Greatest of all time. Um, and if this is a woman, that speaks for your energy too, you know. Man or woman, whoever, this is somebody who is a fucking, you were born for greatness. I see that. The Empress is Queen of Queens. All Queens in the Upright. Um... Fine feminine. All right, the Empress. Mm, okay, then we have the Emperor in reverse. So your divine counterpart is um not fully in their energy right um because the emperor and empress are divine counterparts right the empress has reached enlightenment right has reached the awakening 
the emperor is still kind of asleep, right? And that typically happens in a twin flame journey because um, the divine feminine is always the first to wake up. That's why they're the chaser. That's why the masculine is the runner because it's always the divine feminine that wakes up first and is like, that's our connection, da 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 And then the emperor is like, I'm in my head. I don't know. This is scary. That's a lot of feelings, da 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 you know? And they, they start running. Um, the empress, I feel like, is a lot stronger. And I know that sounds fucked up for a lot of divine masculines. I'm sorry. But they're stronger in the sense that they're not afraid of their truth. And the emperor is afraid of the truth. They're afraid of... of their reality being shook like that right so for the queen of wands yeah i told you you were an artist i knew it you got the art card right um you're really focused on that you're really focused on your creations your baby your project you, that's your passion that's what you're really moving forward on right because i feel like you know your emperor is in the reverse and you're just kind of like you know what fine you want to be in that energy do you want to whatever like I, I don't have time to hold up my life for you so I'm going to focus on my art my shit my my moving up right princess of discs yes okay so this is like stepping into your birthright right taking what is divinely yours um this is like learning a skill right and it kind of goes back to the art or I feel like right now you're in that energy of um, mastering something, mastering a natural talent. And you're like, how do I turn this into my career? How do I turn this into something that I can just do forever, right? And what's interesting is in this disc too, there's that yin-yang symbol right there in the middle, right? And that yin-yang, it kind of goes back to the emperor empress energy, right? That... Um, equal opposites right because they're the same thing but like if you take a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> you know together it's one sandwich and it they flow right and you just rip it apart like not cut it in half but you separate it into two right then it you have both slices of bread right and one's jelly one's peanut butter the jelly has a little peanut butter on it the peanut butter has a little jelly on it but there are equal opposites because Trying to take down the peanut butter is going to like, you know, without any like jelly is going to be like, you know, try feeding a dog peanut butter. You'll see what I mean. And then trying to eat the jelly part without all the peanut butter. It's like so copious or it's got copious amounts of fucking sweetness and it's like rich as fuck and it, there's no balancing factor, right? And so when we put those pieces together, there's like this balancing factor here where they, they the ebb and the flow of the PB and J. I want a PB and J now, fuck. You guys are making me hungry. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, the ebb and the flow there. It's like you guys, you know, like it's separately, there's too much of one thing, you know, there's too much of like one might be really inactive while the other is very active, right? Um, equal opposites. And but when you come together, you complement each other in such a way that that sandwich goes down like a fucking champ. It's like the best fucking thing, you know? Um, yeah. Five of Pentacles in reverse. You're not worried. You're not fucking worried. Um, and you shouldn't be, right? There's just nothing to worry about. You're good. Um, you're taken care of. The universe loves you. You know that. You're divinely blessed, divinely guided. You are divine. And so, you're just focusing on your shit right now. You're, like, letting your emperor fucking be peanut butter, you know? And you're just like, fine, I'll be jelly. But I still have a little peanut butter with me. So, it's, you know, I can be copiously sweet. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and but you don't feel like you're not whole because you're still that whole slice of bread, right? You're still a whole fucking slice of bread. Um... <laughs> You don't feel like you're lacking anything because you know, you know that energetically you're still the same goddamn sandwich, right? <laughs> you know, energetically your energy has to come back together at some point because that's just the nature of the thing, right? And you're just not worried about it. You're not worried. And you're like, even if it doesn't at this point, like, whatever, I'm good. I'm focused on my thoughts. I've got my shit going for me, right?
All right, first mistake here. Six of Wands in reverse is somebody here is feeling like they're not having a victory. And I don't feel like that's your energy. I feel like that's the Emperor in reverse. And it feels like, like, sorry, I keep doing this hiccup thing. Um, it feels like, uh, like they feel like they haven't won, right? Like winning. That's why they're in the reverse, honestly, because they still see it as a game. They still see it as like win or lose or whatever. And it's like, that's very childish. Um, to see it that way because this isn't a fucking game. This is life and um, It's not about winning or losing whatever stance you take It's about being true to yourself being you know and honoring yourself and I just feel like they're just not ready <laughs> You know, they're just too immature still. They're just still not fucking good for you um, They have to be fully good for you. They have to be fully in their power in order to um be the the right energy for you because right now you're fully in your power you're fully embracing who you are you're very strong you're very powerful um and they just it's like they're still in this like i get a battle for my ego you know and you're just like fucking okay have fun with your ego i guess that's better than you know what we have i guess um and then you have the knight of wands right um is this communication rushing in actually <laughs> all this fire energy um wand is the fire element so um it could be a fire sign you're dealing with sagittarius leo um i think aries is a fire sign i still need to learn all the fucking you know elements for the zodiac i'm learning okay <laughs> um but yeah so um yeah it could be a fire sign coming in to talk to you um fast um wands is all about communication and truth um with all this fire i feel a lot of passion about it so yes <laughs> um princess of swords in reverse okay so maybe they were dealing with another energy because this is the opposite of the empress and it is another feminine energy right um, this could be somebody who had cut them off in the past, somebody who broke their heart, um, somebody that they had to let go of or let go of them, um, and it's like they're afraid of reliving that kind of situation, right? They're scared of that coming back, and it's almost like their love for you is so fucking strong that <laughs> they feel that... Um, if you were to break their heart, they would be devastated and they don't know how they could handle that, right? They don't know how they could handle actually having you and then losing you, right? And the funny thing about this is that they do have you, right? That's, that's the funny fucking flip floppy thing about this is energetically, they've always had you, um, you know, and, and I think you understand that, but that's, that's where their fear lies. It's like, yeah. Yeah, Three of Cups in reverse. Um, this typically speaks to having friends that, um, you know, like, that have your back or whatever. But in the reverse, it's like letting go of friendships. Um, so somebody here is probably, like, in the process of understanding that they have to let go of certain friendships. Um, it could be you because you're sitting in the upright and you're just like, any energy that ain't right, <laughs> ain't tight, I ain't going for it, you know? And it's like, um, so some friendships might be lost. Um, but I, I don't feel like it's a bad thing, right? And then we've got lust in reverse. So, yeah, maybe, um, Maybe they had to cut out somebody that they had lust for, but another way that I'm really seeing this, the lust in reverse, is that um, it's not lust, it's love. You know, the opposite of lust is love. Um, lust is all in the ego. It's like that wanting to connect on the physical plane, but 
love is like wanting to connect on the fifth dimension and like really understand um really understand it all you know what I'm going to pull another deck. It just seems so deep. It's like neither of you want something that's just skin deep. Like, other connections just don't feel as real, and that's that's probably why it just won't work. Like, you just, you don't want any fake-ass fucking connections, right? Yeah. So we got the five of wands with the death card okay and so what i see here is like both of you don't want to fight you don't want any more conflict it's the ending of feeling um like any sense of needing to compete um you guys just aren't fighting right you're cutting out the energy of that like the energy of um, what is that fucking word? Um, oh my gosh. It's like standing in your convictions, right? Like it's almost like you don't even want, you don't feel like you need to fight because you know what is true for yourself, right? And what is true in real life. And it's like, um, you're just not fighting. You're not competing. You're not struggling. You're not, I feel like you're very much at peace. You're at the end of any kind of conflict. That's the word I was looking for. You're at the end of fighting. You're at peace, you know? Um, you will not have any more conflict. It's almost like a personal choice. You're just like, I will not respond in anger. I will not respond to anger. I'm just living my life like it's golden. Channeled song. <laughs> living my life like it's golden. Living my life. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I fucked it up. But yeah, that's you guys. Living my life like it's golden. I love that song, actually. That's like my theme song for this year right now. <laughs> it's the golden age for me. And for you guys. <laughs> Um, Page of Pentacles. I see somebody here offering something. It's like a star. Like it almost feels like it reminds me of that old movie. I forget what it's called, where he's like, You want the moon? I'll get you the moon. <laughs> you know? And he's like, I'll just put a rope around it and I'll pull it down. I forget what movie that is, but it was so cute. And like, um, and he was just like and I just feel that energy. You're like, I will pull the fucking stars out of the sky for you. That's the energy I feel. Um, and maybe that's, you know, when the emperor stands in his power. Um, when he sees you for what you really are, you know. It's like that feeling of, I would just pull the fucking stars out of the sky for you. Um, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So, Pen 
Pentacles is all about material wealth. Eight is all about mastery. So somebody's probably just bad with money here. <laughs> Which, I mean, after the holidays, aren't we all? <laughs> but um, it's saying, like, hold on to your pennies. Balance out your checkbook. Um, really, um, start a savings. Start saving for your future because I feel like that's going to be prominent and needed. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Money doesn't grow on trees here. Um, you might end up with a new job. That's what I'm saying. What I'm seeing. It's like it's just not the abundance that you know you're capable of making. And that's kind of why you're going into your art now, you're, why you're focusing on your hustle. It's because you're just feeling like you're not getting paid your worth. And um, you need to hold on to something, right? Material-wise, you need money, you need, you know, whatever. And you need to get paid what you're worth. Um, then we have Six of Swords. Six of Swords is like... You are, didn't we get that before? Maybe that was another reading. Um, but yeah, so with this, it's like being very guarded. Um, being very, uh, it's like you're bringing honest people into your cycle or into your circles. Um, it's like you want only honest friendships, only honest connections, only, you know, because you don't want to fight anymore. You're done with the conflict, right? And so, like, you're choosing people whose energy feels right for you. Um, yeah, four of wands in reverse. The foundation of something is shook. It's the emperor in reverse. I almost feel like it's their energy. Like, it's, um... It's like the foundation is shook for them. They feel a little like, because I see you standing here, like not worried, you know, and like in your own whatever, maybe they're the ones that are struggling to hold on to their money. Maybe there's like retail therapy or something that they're doing. And it's just like, you know, they're just, I feel like, yeah, like, they just, they've been a little reckless with their spending, their foundation is a little shook, um, and that's why they're in the reverse, right, because they're in the opposite energy of you right now, um, it's like magnets, but turned backwards, um, that's what I'm seeing, Honestly, I would say just focus on your damn self for now. <laughs> Let the emperor come to his maturity on his own. Um, don't try to push anything because you don't want him in the energy he's sitting in right now. You want to wait until he's like reached his super saiyan god mode, you know? Because that's where you're at, you know? Yes, I did do Dragon Ball Z reference. And I love Dragon Ball, so whatever. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, Two of Swords in Reverse, he's not at peace. And you are, you're not worried, right? You have that Five of Discs in Reverse, you're not worried. It's like, he's not at peace right now. Like, he's so conflicted. Just going through so much shit, right? It's like his, because he's been ignoring the universe and all the messages for so fucking long, um, the universe is really fucking dealing some bad karma on this guy or girl, if it's a uh, feminine sitting in a masculine energy right now, who knows? Um, whatever the case is, they're not at peace. They're very conflicted. Um, it's like they understand the connection, but right now they're just not living up to their maturity they've got to it's like <laughs> they've got so much bad karma hitting them fucking left and right it's like god's like here's the old one two ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> like just fucking them up right now and it's like 
I really feel bad for them because I don't I like I don't feel like their intentions are bad, but it's like if you ignore the divine long enough, the divine is going to start smacking you around. I've been there. I've gone through my smacking. <laughs> I've been spanked by, by my angels, by my deities, by all that shit, you know? Fucking, man. These guys know. <laughs> These guys know. Okay. <laughs> Freaking, yeah, I had to get... I had to go through a lot of fucking bullshit. Um, and right now, that's part of their awakening, is that they have to go through a lot of fucking bullshit. Um, they're just not in their energy. They're not... <laughs> they're not balanced. <laughs> and until they find their balance, they're not good for you. Even if they are your twin flame. Even if they are your divine connection. You don't want them in this fucking energy. You are too good. You don't need them bringing you down into a low, lower vibration. They need to be brought to your energy. And if they're not willing to do that, if they need to get smacked around by the universe some more, fucking let it happen. Just be like, okay, fine, cool. Do your thing. I'm doing mine. <laughs> I'll catch you when I catch you, right? But that's what I got for you. Namaste. I love you all. And I will talk to you later.